definitely going to be interesting because Greninja works really hard for confirms and Snake has a lot of way to ruin combos for people just by holding a, a grenade and just leaving them around. And you can delay those down tilts. C4 didn't quite hit. Catching him out of Cypher with back air. Very good t uh, trick. Just waiting at ledge, making sure you're not letting him come back for free. Good eyes to see that the C4 was in the middle of the stage there. Ooh, used his drift to get out of that, but still get pun still got punished by an F tilt. There's the nair to forward air. Yeah, the neutral the neutral is seems to be the biggest part of these matchups because Greninja really really wants to do that. But they both die. Now that's an interesting turn of events. I'm not even completely sure how Grin how Jigrun died there. Other than being like gimped by Cypher. Dash attack sending him in. He's gonna be awkward on the DI. He ciphered the ledge to cipher again just to buy himself a little bit of time to set up a little bit more. Butterfly down on the stage, but it blew up. There's the C4. C4 not quite landing. The grenades keep coming out. Ooh, grenade didn't pop him up as much as Jigrun would have hoped. And he didn't quite land that uh, confirm. C4 hit him through the platform. We're seeing a lot of interesting neutral boat where Jigrun's trying to get in to hit uh, Bobo, but Bobo's just laying down the bombs, not letting him do anything. But that'll take it. Countering the down smash definitely will take it. Up tilt not quite landing because he was on platform. Ooh, very good C4 detonation. Catching him off stage using the big hitbox. Why two frame when you can just have the bomb do it for you? It's a mar marvel of modern technology. Good down air out of shield. Uh, it reads the neutral tech as well. The nair hits. Back air gets parried. Interesting time to go for a down smash. Ooh, good trade. And it Jagrunt looking a little low, but it might not matter if he gets a few more good forward airs or up airs. A back air. Ooh, not quite that good. Alright, both people plus 100. The next solid hit will kill. Almost certainly. Damn, he missed the confirm off down tilt. Greninja really needs those confirms to get rolling to get most of his kills. You have to get people too high for straight hits to kill most of the time on Greninja. But Jake Run staying cool with the forward air, taking game, taking game one. He stayed cool, he waited for his moment, and he went in as soon as he saw there was an opening. Very, very patient and calculated play from uh, Jake Run right at the end of that game. Even though most of it seemed to have been just a brawl all around the stage with bombs. We had that one moment of uh, real solid snake controlled neutral. Which I guess is all snake neutral. Because the bombs can't be ignored. Well, we saw a good moment of that where Jay Grunt really couldn't get near Bobo at all. But Bobo eventually cracked because, you know, all it took was that one solid forward air hitting from Jay Grunt. And he saw it. Alright, nothing changes. We go back into it. Both people feeling confident about their picks. Going to small battlefield this time. Parries the Nair immediately into F tilt. Okay. Down tilt that ledge and caught him. He took 10% from his own grenade. Good combo from uh, Jay Grunt there. Spot dodge the grab. Ooh, 
down smash hit a ledge. Two frame with down smash. Jagram loses his first stock. Very, very different game from what we saw last time. Snake playing much more conservatively, especially at ledge. Good down air at a shield. Another good down air. He sees that he sees that Jagram really wants to approach him on the ground, so he's just making sure he waits for those moments where he doesn't make sure he doesn't get uh, grabbed first, and then after worrying about what comes next. C4 not landing on Jagram though. That will come into play and will hurt later. But Bobo doesn't really Bobo doesn't really have to care at this point. He's a stock up. Everything seems to be working out at least moderately well. Very good wave bounce on the grenade to get away from Greninja. That F tilt dodge J Grunt's down air. The falling Nikita as well. A lot of explosions on the stage. Uh, you can't run around smacking grenades like that, Greninja. There's the up smash. Through the shield. He picked a very good angle for that. Uh, the substitute counter going up was definitely the best play and I can't believe that he actually made it out of the oh, up two kills all right we're seeing we're seeing a very different game snake made all the adjustments he really needed to especially when it comes to neutral playing it way safer and way slower than just putting out bombs and waiting till they get hit it's less bombs, more actually just throwing hands with the frog. It's a very interesting match to see because you see, you see that Jagrant has to think about every little thing that uh, Bobo does. Because Snake is just one of those characters that if you let like a single thing slip by, one grenade hits you or worse, drop C4 on you and you die at like 60 after getting up tilted. Ooh, Nair didn't quite land, he got up tilted. Second hit of up tilt, you always gotta remember there's two hits to that move. Up tilt hitting through the platform takes the kill, takes the stock and the game. Game two goes to Bobo. See, the, the, snake, the snake game plan changed a lot, and we saw immediate results. He stopped, trying to, he stopped trying to just sit back and let the grenades do all the work for him. He decided to get in there, get his hands dirty, put some elbow grease on it, and eventually he was able to just straight up kill the frog. Now we have to see what the adjustments are from Jagron. Ooh. Snazzy beat we put on here. Okay. And it's Pokemon theme? I think Jagrun, I think Jagrun's powering up right now. I think that's what we're about to see. Jagrun's gonna come out huge. Alright, let's see how this game. Let's see what we got. Landing a forward air immediately off start. 36% to 24. Very good knowledge to be able to combo off that bomb. He's got separate timers in his head for all of them. I mean, as a snake player, you're kind of happy. You got to know when your bombs are going to explode, right? But yeah, letting letting the neutral play slow and not just keep fighting. It worked out very, very well for Bobo. And it seems to be still be uh, still working moderately well, even though Jay Grunt is working around it slowly but surely. Very good DI from that, uh, off that dash attack. Then he goes up again just to be safe. Dash attack still hits though. Forward air kills? No, forward throw. Not forward air. Forward, air, forward throw does not kill. Jagrunt living at 170 against Snake. That's kind of dangerous. But it seems to be working. The throw missed. The clash? Down throw up tilt, yeah. That's the that's the snake classic, the down throw up tilt. That's been since day one. 
Yeah, we see Bobo playing a lot more calculated than he did before. I wouldn't say he was playing less calculated before, but the game plan, the game plan in itself, fundamentally changed with this, uh, with the second and third matches, and you can see that it's working out extremely well for Bobo. He's feeling himself. Immediately going for that back out of tumble, he knows what he wants. Playing it real slow. Not really doing much of the approaching, letting Jagron approach him himself. But what does it kill? Not quite. Snake's just a little too heavy, and you got good DI on that. Border takes it, though. There, there it is again, just standing center stage and saying, Jay Grun, hey, you gotta approach me eventually if you wanna kill me. So, taking his sweet time doing so. Saying, I can throw grenades all day, I'll never run out. Then he gets moments like those where he gets one little back here to get him off into a disadvantage. And we'll see how it goes. He seems like he really wants those throws. Bobo seems to be, uh really want to go for those throws just to make sure he gets everything he wants. That was a very, very good string from Jagrun. Those drag down up airs really paying in dividends. That grenade saved his life. That grenade actually saved your ninja from a very grisly death. The Cypher knocked the Jagrun away from ledge. That's kind of ridiculous that it's there for so long. You have to parry both hits of back air. Greninja's back air is a multi-hit move. That went through the dash tech beat back air from Greninja and killed him. But the falling Nikita got the jump out of him. When you have the C4 at ledge and a Nikita following you, your options are basically nil. Good understanding from Bobo realizing what was uh, just exactly how to make that uh, interaction unwinnable. Jager bringing this back to a very, very close game on last stock in the last game, the uh, set though. C4 on left platform. Don't forget it, write it down. This will be on the test. Very good little combo from uh, Jager, not letting him come back very easily. These nares and forwarders are really finding their mark. Jagrun seems to be keying in on uh, Bobo, not letting him get out. He knew the down air was coming out of sh he knew the down air out of shield was going to happen, so he waited and uh, rolled just to be safe. Very very quick millisecond adjustments that really win the are winning these interactions. Just like that, knew he was going to go high, went for the forward air, it kills. Jagrun keeps moving on.